the human eyes and the colorful world good morning students good morning ma'am today i'll teach you the wonderful gift of the god which enable us to explore this colorful world do you know what i am talking about no ma'am i am talking about the sense of sight that is eyes which act like a camera now i'll give you detailed study of an eye the human eye parts of eye first cornea it is the front transparent part of the eye it is bulging outside the outer surface of the cornea is convex the light enters through cornea second iris it is colored part of the eye behind the cornea it is flat colored ring shaped membrane it controls the size of pupil aperture third pupil the aperture or opening of the eye is pupil it is a hole in the middle of the iris it appears black as light does not reflect from it it regulates and controls the amount of light entering the eyes its size decreases in bright light and increases in dim light fourth crystalline lens it is a convex lens made up of transparent soft and flexible material it help in the fine adjustment of the focal length required to focus object at different distance on the retina being convex in nature it forms real and inverted image on the retina like a camera our eyes also has screen which is called retina thin membrane behind the lens on which images form it is the screen of the eye it consists of light sensitive rod cell and color sensitive cone cells ciliary muscles ciliary muscles changes the thickness of the eye lens while focusing optic nerves when the image is formed on the retina the light sensitive cell get activated and generated electrical signal optic nerve sends electrical signal to the brain the brain analyzes these signals after which we perceive object as they are blind spot at the junction of optic nerve and retina in the eye there is small area of the retina insensitive to light as there are no rod cells where the optic nerve leaves the eyes so no vision is possible at the blind spot aqueous hammer jelly like substance present between the cornea and eye lens vitreous hammer a jelly like substance present between the eye lens and retina it supports the back of the eye power of accommodation a normal human eye can see nearby and far away object as eyes can focus the image in both the cases this ability of eye lens to adjust its focal length is called power of accommodation when we see the distinct object the focal length of the lens is increased as lenses become thin and our eyes are more relaxed but when we see nearby objects the focal length of the eye lens is decreased and becomes thick